Hello, 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 say hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is Kitty Caps where I watch it with you because we in this together, honey. But before we start, I just want to say thank you for stopping by in the first place. It means the world to me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it, okay? Let's get into Bad and Bougie. Season 1, Episode 1. Let me reintroduce myself. And I'm doing this one right here for my nanny. My mama. My mama. She talked to me about this. She was like, oh, I must just do this. So, so I said, okay, I'm going to do this show for my mama. So, shout out to her. My teacher's been probably long enough to watch the whole review fine. But still, shout out to her. I'm, I'm excited to have a show what I watch my mom that we can talk about. My mom watches all the same. We I literally, we have the same taste. Like, it's the same taste <laughs> when it comes to entertainment and stuff. Let's get into it. We got my girl Go Shay. Got my girl. If I did it, was was Go Shay on LA here, or was she on a different one? I can't remember. I, I anybody who been watching TV for a long for long enough know who Go Shay is. She is a celebrity hairstylist, but on this one, she is currently showing off her. Um, I think she has a restaurant in Atlanta, base, or but she has a new line or something she's showing it don't matter it's some food okay she has a food and things about atlanta socialites even though half of them ain't from atlanta or well, some of them ain't from atlanta but mm -hmm, the who's who apparently and we got malaysia we got some other people that i recognize cannot remember their name for nothing child but i'm excited about that they said that they all love theme parties because one thing about atlanta baby is that we're gonna do a theme especially i told you black folks you black or gay and you from atlanta three times a theme yeah, Crystal, who is Neil's ex-wife. Do y'all know if, if they actually, um, did he actually cheat on his first wife or well, his wife before her love? Because I'm just gonna say you get him how you lose him. I know that they had a very, like, we don't know where. They say they didn't. Some people say they did. I know. I can't remember. I watched them on another show, too. It was like Hollywood something. It was another one of these people that shows where you're doing, like, Rat, these random celebrity ex girlfriends or wives, and I remember she was on the same show with the first other wives, girlfriend of the friends, or on the same show as her. And there was this whole contingent, it had to be maybe it was RB wise. I don't remember, it, it was a very brief show. She in the booth, rapping by the voice, yeah, 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 she rapping like this, huh, huh. And go, she come me, and she's like, I know you got a lot going on. I got this theme party for my food. Will you come and we won't talk about me, yo, or none of them fools. That's what she said. That's not what she said. That's what I said. But I was rapping like, uh. <laughs> Just me or do Crystal a little different in her pictures than she do in person. The makeup and filters. It really does. Because I be really like, who's that? Every time I see these people, like, who's that? If it wasn't for Neo standing next to her, I wouldn't have thought that was her in that picture. Like, you know, my man, my ex-husband was cheating on me. You know, they live a different, different lives on the outside of the house. So wherever I went in the future, trust me, they ain't going to be cheating on me. But now you see what the other wife went through, boo. I hope it's not true that you're a mistress, but sometimes you got to look and listen to what they went through and be like, huh, am I next? You more than likely will be. Personally, I don't even going to miss my got to do with all that. Like, not deal with the whole, like, scrutiny of is, did we meet at this time or you didn't? If you, if you met close enough. First of all, if they're screwed in about it, that means you met too soon. Let's just be real. Oh no, Neo talented ain't shit. Okay, he ain't getting. Girl, come to find out, go shake out a girlfriend, honey. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. Let's have gays and the gays and the lesbian us, okay? She asked Crystal if she would ever consider a woman. She was like, mm -mm, I, ain't, I, ain't, I tried it. I ain't, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. And she called herself rap named BBF or some, some old. She acting like an old lady. I was giving corny a little bit, a little bit, but you know, it's some grown woman, so she got multiple businesses, honey. She got multiple, she's trying to she trying to do her thing. Scared of Neo blackballing me, no shade. Well, she refers to her as her wife, so if that's her wife, not refer to her as a girlfriend, but refers to her as a wife. So, go, she got a wife. Can I just tell you? I just thought about this. Remember when I said earlier and that if you black, you gay, and you're from Atlanta, you're gonna have themes. So how I didn't even know Gosha was gay. So how how did I you, you see? 
you see, but I, I don't understand how I be having so much forethought and I'm still broke. Can someone explain to me why, why this big brain of mine that's real good at, you know, guessing, putting stuff together, you know, contest clues in, you know, I hate my neighbors. Why, why am I broke? How can I channel this into something a little bit more productive? She invites um Crystal to her party and she says, you know, it's a little she got she talks about the theme and you know, they just have a cute it's just an introduction, basically. Nothing too major. Oh, but she does say that she asked her about if she ever had did the, the threesomes or whatever. Because they had her blog that that's what she was doing, right? And she's like, uh no, that she's like, I was she's like, I would never invite another woman to bed one man. But she was like, Maybe I should because if I did, you know, current, apparently that's what he liked, maybe we would still be married. And she was in this so close. She was like, "Yeah, I guess. I mean, I really, I did believe the blogs went blog blogs. I did believe the blogs, and they said that you was in that kind of stuff. Like most most people believe the blogs, but they read about most people. Okay, if it sound true enough, and it sound crazy enough, folks gonna believe it. Princess is the creator of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I am here for it. Okay, she got a whole little list of whole. I know, I know, Lost Twenty Two Entertainment too. Okay." Okay. The outfit though, I hate it. It's way too much. And it's a little conventional, way too much. I think it's the eyeshadow. I think it's the eyeshadow. I think it's the eyeshadow. I think it's the makeup. I don't think it's the actual outfit. I think it's the makeup. Better be okay, Miss Lady dressed like a fancy AKA because I showed it though, honey. But that's the one thing about being behind the scenes that I know somebody studied that. Most people don't know who you are. <laughs> Unless you're the director and maybe a producer and I'm the one. They don't know who you are. Especially on these television shows. Movies, yeah. Everything else, no and stuff like that they get producers they get a lot of credit for stuff that they just wrote down on the paper and somebody else helped create for them no shade it's still a lot of hard work because you manage it but you know people a lot of the little guys get forgotten now she is she's a little guy she's clearly a big girl oh she's a big woman honey i thought to me a little for me i was like isn't she a stylist i was thinking like isn't this lady a stylist honey we got we got to she had fast style. The, we got we got the big girls on the show okay we got we got some big top-notch girls on this show okay this, this is very expiring to see this is you know i mean i'm sure you're gonna be messy to let you know age don't stop miss but honey i'm it's very inspiring to see that i don't know i'm just feeling some type of way i'm gonna feel some type of good ways it's nice to see that versus somebody like swing your hand and talking about some major major drama we're gonna have a drama because we got malaysia and crystal in them but these girls gonna give like that that classy drama okay they're gonna be the very elitist drama <laughs> tamika and manana oh manana is a whole other person jehovah tamika and T and princess um princess invited tamika there because she's been having a surgery and she they, both of them mom know the fact that they both had some botch and like life threatening surgery um she says princess says that she went in for a breast reduction and she woke up and she had pretty much lost all her breast. There was no breast, like, uh, some, I can't remember the exact thing that happened, but it basically means, like, there was no oxygen going to the skin or whatever. So she's had, like, over 11 or so surgeries, and it's like she's been doing it since well before 2015. So she's only on her last surgeries to finally get it corrected, like, I guess, to her taste. And then Tamiko revealed that something similar happened to her when she went to Brazil to get liposuction and um, something else done to her breast. And she said she flatlined. She almost died and came out and like, girl, that, that made my breast hurt. And I have um, Bible cystic breast syndrome, and then like the, the lumps in my breast are like tingling, tingling, tingling. Oh my God, I could not imagine. I could not imagine. They both agreed that they would never do surgeries again without it being like not elective, like without it being a need. Like she's obviously still doing surgeries to fix what happened. You know, she get like fill fillers and stuff to kind of plump them up instead of getting like a full reconstruction surgery. But I, I cannot watch that. I'm gonna look away because ah, you're like, do you need me doing this? Like, this is vanity, right? You don't have to do it, you just doing it to be doing it, right? Like, you know, we just had this whole conversation, like, sis, what's, what's going on? Hmm? Um, <laughs> especially when she's saying it's a last, is it forever? I don't know. Side note, Crystal. Uh, who oh she owns Johnny's Chicken and Waffles. Guess who owns that too? Carly Red. In what's the uh, princess defense? I want my nipples too. You know, I want my nipples too. If this is the last thing she's gonna do, leave it alone. If she keep doing it, you know, they both have a point. They both have a point because they both have a similar situation. But she wants her nipples. I thought this show was called Bad and Bougie. It's bold and bougie. <laughs> It's the puff puff. I promise it's the puff puff. I 
Damn, like she is bold for saying even, even the doctor, like she just wants her nipples. <laughs> I gotta say in that word. Can I say that word? I don't know. It's too many words you can't say over the day go stuff, child. I don't know. Um that was just <laughs> But she's like both of them have a point, but at the end of the day, she you can't you did kinda that was just kinda like unnecessary to say, Miss Tamika. I feel like that was kinda you could have kept it to yourself. You could have kept it to yourself. I don't know. I don't know. She allowed to want to have it. I feel like she just... Anyway, moving on to Malaysia and, and go shake. Go Malaysia go shake. Meet up at the zipline place. And I hope with her topless box, she do real topless. Just saying, if y'all over playing for some topless, topless means appetizer in Spanish. It just means a little something you eat a little bit while you drink. So if I pay here the cost of a soda or cost whatever your drink is, and we get we, the topless comes with it. So don't be letting these people over pay y'all for some dang old ham on. And if it's not even quality ham on, if it's not better than the ham on that's sitting behind my head on my on my table, my man slice up for us to eat, you're overpaying. Paying five dollars for a topper is crazy to me. Like topper extra here is like one something. What's up the menu for Gauthier's Topper Bar? It's just like a breakfast place. There is not even Spanish food in here. That is so offensive. <laughs> no shade. That's like me being over it up a day ago. Soul food restaurant and I said Mexican food. <laughs> I'm not no. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Mexican food and Spanish food are not the same. None of this is Spanish food. None none of this is Spanish food. I wish this was Spanish food. I wish. Maybe the lamb chops. The lollipop land chops. But you got Italian food. You got Mexican food. You got Greek food. Boo. The disrespect. Just so I know, if you ever been... Don't be going to these little tapas bars and expecting them in America. Expect them to be actual tapas. That, that represented of Spain. Ceviche, not Spanish. Um, spinach dip, whatever it says, not Spanish. Guacamole is, fucking, is, is from Mexico. Okay, I wish that I could eat any of this. I wish I eat this food, anything. Ours is carne and salsa, um, potato salad. Uh, they will give you shrimp with no salt on it. <laughs> this is her top of bar is not Spanish food. So if you are going there thinking to try like Spain Spanish food, that's not it. It's just food that she likes. Yeah, even it's Mexican, they got Italian, they got a Greek, they got a bunch of stuff. It look good though. I eat it, but it's not tapas. Like tapas literally means appetizer. Tapas has nothing to do with food, like a full meal. That's a ration. But yeah. people just pick stuff that's trendy and then don't actually put any effort into it. They just said she left housewives because she felt like an abused baby mama. And she just felt like she was getting talked down on and treated like crap. I'm like, do you know where you walking into? No shade. Because these people, princess especially, don't look very elitist. I hope not, but she does. Speaking of Spanish food, I'm going to eat arroz con balamonte. Lobster rice. I always forget Moneta is uh, Neil's ex-wife. You know what I'm saying? I always forget that. I'm going to say this. Something about Tamika ain't right. Something about Tamika ain't right. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was like her comment about like low key roasting the whole black aspen thing or the um the or if it's her the way she's like, I don't wanna be around all girls. I'm like, is it because you know Goshe is gay or is that because you wanna look girls who like I just can't get along with me or with women. I don't like I can't, I don't trust any woman that don't have some female friends and they can't comfortably be around other women. Malaysia is there. She, um, because Tamika is moving. Her children are getting older. She just want to transition to a different part of her life and everything. And, um, Malaysia comes because Malaysia apparently is into real estate or investment properties or something. And she comes to help her, give her, give her opinion on the house and whatnot. Just come to talk, really talk for the show. The theme is bikini and fur. That is kind of like, I don't know, go say. But I can't. <laughs> it's a silly little bit of a thing. You could have just went with black aspen. You have to do bikini and fur. But it's bikini because it's technically a pool party. 
and I'm assuming it's not that that cold. It must be like fall at this point in Atlanta. So enough to maybe low key, if you make it warm enough, like a jacuzzi or something party, or you got like, you know, something, an indoor pool party, it can work. Well, I don't know about an outdoor pool party. In her mind, she was thinking of like when the, you see them heifers who be posing in the snow with bikinis, like hiking boots. That's what she was thinking of. Ski boots. You're gonna be like, why she didn't talk to her in the bond that moment? One, especially because she like the type of woman that will speak up for herself. But when it comes to sensitive issues like that, even though to even though Tamika may be able to relate to a certain extent, but she, you know you're not her, so she doesn't relate fully, fully. I feel that way type of too. Like when you got a man who's very loving and supporting and hosting her. And you know, just come for you. Sometimes you want to like get that first layer of reaction out with him, like my set, you know, that that sadness, and I felt offended. So that way, you feel strong enough to talk to the person. Because turn to Mika, our friend, it's not like she's gonna be on some raw, raw stuff and they about to be sweet, and it's not, not as TV. So it is okay to kind of like have a moment to think about it and come and, and and figure out how you process how you want to say it, especially when you're speaking to somebody that you care about, such as a friend. I know that's what she and I'm just I was just very nice to see that it's just a very relatable moment because I be needing some I feel but I do that too like I be just needing to like cry a little bit with my man talk about it with my man like make sure I wasn't tripping and you know his little reassurance in listening makes me feel better and it gave me the strength to really be that girl just just saying you know um so that was a nice moment she said she's trying to find fur and stuff an outfit for at for the party and he like, girl, I ain't got to be sitting here looking at you doing these outfits all the time. But she does like, oh, I would have really want to talk to you about something. And they talk about the whole situation. And he give us a hug. And I was just like, oh, it's so sweet to see, like, real moments with, when, you know, with people and, and their couples. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sentimental because it's around Valentine's. Chicken and waffles is going to be the deal of Atlanta. How many chicken and waffles spots that we need in Atlanta, honey? Also, it's off about Crystal. Uh, I used to feel that way when I used to watch her on other TV shows. I saw her, um, it ain't even about the whole story, it just, her, I don't, her vibe, her vibe, I don't know. You can see that Malaysia and um, Crystal are brought together so they can beef. Love Princess's look, all white, I love it. Hello to the Party was, was killer, I love it. It was very just simple and I, I just, I like the fact that she wore white, ugh cute i liked her outfit in theory but it didn't just crystals i just it just is wasn't giving like she was going to like i guess if you see some of the other guests they're not giving all of that either but where's the fur where is the fur it's just for her to be amongst these ladies it just was kind of just like well it's it's the outfit that i would wear to go run errands day to day but it was just definitely like luster though the body is tea honey the body is tea the hair was laid it's clean look. I feel like she was going to a real party. Or not that type of party. It's like she was going to like a lunch. But in her defense, this is a party to to launch a, bre uh, a grits and pancakes line, right? How do you dig? If you don't own the fur, or you don't play wear the fur, she put the fur on her shoes. Not bad. But you know what she meant. You know, but I ain't mad that a bitch that could think. That, you know, to think a little bit out the box when she got to. She got knee up, I'm sure. Thinking out the box now. She didn't think out the box to keep his ass, <coughs> but he needs to be kept. See, <clears throat> ooh, go shade was most on thing, but I hate her outfit. I hate it. I don't. I don't know if it, it's not. It, I don't know if it was the bright pink fur. I don't know if it was like the lacy. Actually, I didn't mind the diamond thing and the bikini. Maybe the the lacy thing should have had the fur. I don't know. It was just kind of overwhelming. I don't know why I didn't like that. I didn't like that. This is definitely giving, like, basketball-wise meets, real house-wise, but, like, slightly cheaper. I, no, I don't understand why it's slightly cheaper because most of these girls got the coin. Background to be really serving them looks. I love about Malaysia. She can dress. She what she went to the theme that I was thinking of when I said bikinis and fur. That's what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of. And she did and it looked more age appropriate for her. That's what I was thinking of. I actually give her the most for being on theme. She went maybe like the stereotypical look when you put like bikinis at Aspen, which is like, like I said, the the heifers in the snow and the fur half naked. But she went it was the closest thus far. Well, Gauche did literally bikini and fur. She did it but with 
some thought to it. Stylistic thought. That's the croissants. Don't be judging me. Your girl gotta eat. Your girl had a long week. However, hers also looks kind of casual like Crystal. Like, I feel like Princess went like, ooh, ooh. And now it's making Princess look more and more overdressed. <laughs> Especially because the other guests don't have as much. Um, But I ain't nothing wrong. Better just be overdressed than underdressed. And my personal opinion, okay. But I like that I feel like Malaysia's is just in between. It's like casual for the party and the theme. But it still looks like she tried. I'm too sad. I'm sorry. I don't understand. First of all, Crystal. Stop coming into these circles with people that are good friends with his his ex wife with him or whatever, and not expecting them to have some some form of loyalty. The same if the same would happen if it was you on the other foot, right? She also came both of them Malaysia, Malaysia and Crystal Malaysia pulled Crystal aside just to get the conversation away out the way because one thing about Malaysia is she is super loyal to her friends, okay? Super duper loyal to her friends. So she put a conversation she pulled her to the side, and so Crystal is automatically. Um, defensive because she feel like why you know like um she, Malaysia says why you can't even say her money on the name whatever and she's just like I'm just tired of talking about my ex and all this situation but you just said in a couple confessions ago that you are that that you were worried and you were un knowing that people wasn't gonna kind of low key feel some type of way because they were close to money if you don't want to keep doing this go find another group of people to hang out with I don't know Malaysia is just. Maybe she's doing a little bit too much, but she's just basically put her to the side and said, I have no beef with you as long as you don't say nothing bad about my friend, which is respectful. And if she's in a defense, how would you feel if a good friend of yours was all kiki and buddy buddy and friendly to a girl that you feel some type of way about? Even if she moved, even if you move, because my has a whole other man, I think. But still, does <clears throat> she just doing what she has to do as a friend? I don't like Crystal. But if they continue to talk about it, continue to talk about it, keep on hunting the sign, making an issue, then I understand her. And then I'll be like, girl, check them. These girls will never, never, ever, ever be good friends with you as long as they're, they're friends with the other girl. That's just, that's just is what it is. Well, I do agree that you don't know about any explanation on your business, Crystal. If you trying to be in the same circle as her and have the same mutual friends as her, you owe them an explanation. I... Personally, like, I ain't going to be hanging on no helper that I think is a mistress. I don't care if they got married or not. I ain't, I don't, I'm not hanging on no helper I think is a mistress. Unless I hear your side of the story and, and I, I make my own, my own opinion of it. But I'm going to at least be like, if we're going to work, if we going to be kicky and we're going to be cordial because of work, we need to have some kind of like, you know, let you know there's some boundaries. I'm just saying. It's not like y'all two helpers who working side by side at Walmart and y'all can avoid each other. Y'all are on a, a TV show that forces y'all to hang out. There has to be some kind of conversation. And that's just Malaysia personality, and y'all are the two that's in the same age group. They put y'all on the show for this for this reason alone. I don't like that outfit, Tamika. I kind of like it because it kind of is giving like sporty, which is remind me of like hiking and shit like that. But at the same time, no. Ciao. I'm here for the, the, the older ones beef for now. And this is crazy that they beefing over it. Like, not beefing, but there's definitely tension. Because, you know, Princess had to, you want to talk to her husband about, like, about how Tamiko's like, he just, you know, saying, little, you know, little shit coming. So, she was having this conversation with Malaysia. And she's like, I was just telling him, I was telling him, I was just first be in to wear a bathing suit. And she's like, oh, why? Let me know. Why are you not wearing a bathing suit? And she's like, well, I, I can tell you now. I have to tell you when um, Tamika get here. She's like, why Tamika got here? And she's like, why, why? Probably because she want to check Tamika at the same time or kind of address it in the group setting. <laughs> so eventually Tamika come up with her weird outfit, right? And she said it was weird because she was confused. Uh, whatever. You a stylist, honey. This was your one chance to stun on them. To really show. I mean, your work speaks for itself, but come on now. Your your look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, moving on. And so, and Malaysia's like, oh, you know, either she's here. Like, she can tell us. And she's like, Cause she, I was so confused because she says she can tell us until you were here. And now that you're here, she can tell us. And then, and then he goes to me, go like, oh, God. Um, and then and soon as, as soon as she, uh, Princess says, well, about seven years ago, she's like, I got to take a shot for you to tell this story. And I'm like, that is disrespectful. That is it. I was watching this poem. I, I can't remember her name, but it's a poem. It's about RAP, right? And she said, there's never appropriate time to talk about certain stuff. Like, there's never appropriate time. And when she would get really drunk, she would talk about it because that's what happened to her at a party. At a party, right? 
and people will always look at her crazy and, and she's just like but when you know but when when can you talk about it when is a setting that i'm talking about talk about that like i can't um talk about it in a, in a group amongst my friends i can't talk about it when i'm probably under the influence around the people because i'm letting people down i can't talk about it even at a, an event that's dedicated to it because it's too much and it's over you know not saying it's the appropriate time or not but she wanted to tell them girls her business you didn't want to listen to you already heard the story once she only told the story one time to you only child jesus tamika you were being very freaking insensitive for somebody who had the same thing happen maybe it's because she really looks at both of these situations of them like having have had elective surgeries and that's just like oh the consequences of your action you know but she's been a little a little rough I told you, older black women, like over 40, can be very mean. Curious is she got a breast reduction because her breasts were too big and she really needed it? Like, or because she maybe, like, like she naturally has big breasts. Cause my, so I wonder if it was because of that or because she had fake boobs and she wanted to get the boobs smaller. I'm curious. If, if anybody knows, let me know. Not that it matters, but it kind of does. It's an important detail to know. What made her situation between her and Tamika slightly different? Because her situation was for her health, if it was for that reason, whereas Tamika's would have been for her vanity. But who knows? I'm curious. Regardless, it's her story. She got to talk about it. And we need to hear more and more about people, especially the older people, who've gotten these uh, plastic surgeries so that we can really understand the long-term effects and the possible things that can happen. Say this, Tamika. I cry at a many parties. I'm broken down in a bathroom full of people. You know, girl, girl connection. And one thing we did, we still, that didn't stop the show. <laughs> a party doesn't, everybody doesn't sit around crying, having a bad mood. Because she told a little a story that could relate to all of them. Because all of them have plastic surgery, including you, okay? So, no one, it did not ruin anybody's moment. It did not stop the party. You just think that she's uh trying, looking for sympathy and you don't like it. I wish she would come out and just kind of say that. Before I see go ask go share outfit, it really is growing on me. Uh, it ain't bad. As it is bad as I thought about it. It actually is really growing on me. You know how it was about to turn up on Malaysia, and she she on your side. <laughs> because basically, after the whole situation, Tamika go over to go shave, throw some shade to go shave, cause she was like, I was worried that your party was gonna be like Lil Kim. You know, I love Lil Kim, but like, and she was like, Well, I did say that. And she was like, But like thirty years ago, look at your outfit. Is that the last time you styled anybody? Because your outfit is <sighs> moving on. Then from there, she was talking. And she was like, isn't that Crystal? And to, uh, Gauche's like, yeah. She's like, well, you know, I'm really good friends with Monette Moneta. And she's like, yeah, me too. And what about it? And she's like, well, I'm going to go have this conversation with her. And then she's just looking at her like, bitch, weren't y'all all just standing in a circle together? Have a conversation. Because Crystal was there crying with everybody. When, um, who's that girl? Princess talked told her story or whatever. And so then he come, um, uh, Tamika just strutting along, strutting along. She put, she roll up on Crystal and she's like, are oh, you Crystal? She said, like, you know, I'm Crystal, you Crystal, whatever, whatever. And she's like, uh, yeah. And then, and then Malaysia's looking at them like, what's going on? And even Princess looking like, it's like scooting around, like being a little nose, like, what's going on? And she's like, well, I'm on your, I'm really good friends with Monietta. And then, and everybody's like, uh, okay. And then, Malaysia's like, Malaysia's like, I'm also good friends with one yada. And she, and she, and because she was like, um, Crystal said to Crystal, to me, because like, I'm loyal, I'm so loyal to a fault. And then, in the confession, Malaysia's like, I get it, like, we're all good friends with one, one yada, but I would never introduce myself to another one, like, oh, I'm one yada's friend. Because it, it did come off like a little bit like threatening. And, you know, they kind of like, I feel like Malaysia's press, something about something happens and they all kind of twirl the way. And then go shake and like, she don't know what the heck going on. Like, didn't, didn't she just tell you she was going to go front this girl? Thing I don't like about Monia, uh, Crystal is that she keeps referring to Monia as the baby mom. Like, I don't like that. Like, I get that you was a wife and all that. Um, but she was still there before you. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to say nothing like that. But don't sit here and, uh, like, don't sit here and just like, downgrade her like that because that's why people treat you the way you treat, they treat you that's why i don't like you is that you be throwing subtle shots i'm saying like i'm a hard baby or for instance husband, i'm on y'all don't check out don't y'all share it's like kids have or have siblings why are you being my mom has never referred talk down on any of my 
she only got one kid that has uh, other children. Uh, she has one father of her children that has other children, right? And I have never heard my mom in a day in my life talk down on that. Oh, never, 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 never. It's just so unnecessary, girl. Like, ugh. but I get it. They've been beefing. But it's like, if you're trying to move forward, why are you talking like that? If you want people to treat you slightly better, approach it differently as well. Like, I don't know. I don't really like Crystal. She give me fake. But she does that because the only thing she can throw out against Moyetta is that she was a baby mom. She throws that out there like that. Um, and that's true. Were her and, and, and you keep calling her baby mom, but weren't they almost engaged or something like that? I don't know. It almost doesn't count. Uh, like to my boyfriend, but whatever. Um, she keep throwing it out there too. I feel like because that's the only real thing she can like hit against Moyetta is that she would she never got married to Neo. How I know Tamika Amoniata and Crystal and them is Atlanta X's, right? Is this, is this show? And was Crystal on Atlanta X's as well? Crystal was on something else similar. Because this is like the third time I feel like I've been to this cycle talking about Neo and who he been putting his penis in. Somebody in the comments said that this is fake and that Crystal Amoniata made up on. Oh yeah, weren't they going around pretending like there was a co-parenting? Is it them that pretending that they was going around doing like three... Like interviews with three of them, until like it was a big co parent, a happy co parent family. Am I tripping? But people stuff be going on in Hollywood. I, it's just, I'd be confused. Tamika, like, how many times we're gonna talk? Not how many times we're gonna talk at a party, but everybody has some kind of common cause mental thing she want to go on and on, on about, especially if it's so emotional. You didn't have to tell this random lady about that. You could have told her, like, yeah. I just like, I like having, you know, I like doing facials. I like doing, you know, doing cosmetic stuff. Because in, from Tamika's perspective, we both had this traumatic experience. Why do you keep pushing it, keep pushing it? And I agree with her. Princess very subtly dressed as she, you know, she's making very like little slide comments. It's nothing, you know. She seems like not a very confrontational person. I do think she was looking for a little bit more sympathy, sympathy but you know, she wanted to keep telling her story. Both of them are right. And in reality, both of them are right. But to me, the child, she's gonna be a handful. She really is gonna be a handful. She's gonna get these folks on run for their money. She also reminds to me, or just kind of like gently, you know, tells um, to me that she knows she she knows that she around that Crystal knows that she's surrounded by Moyetta's friends, and that she don't need to be constantly reminded of that. And that we're supposed to be trying to, you know, get to know her and be fair and not bully the girl child, especially if y'all gonna be working together. So happy to see that they all jump in the pool. I'm really so happy they jumped in the pool. Breaking breaking them curses, honey. Breaking them fevers. We know black people swim back. People get that hair wet. Child. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I also hope that they ate whatever the heck she is launching. Because I didn't see them do eat nothing. I just seen them drink and stand around. How you have a launch party with that, but ain't no launching of the food. Uh, like it's like, what's the line? Is this is the line in stores? Can they pick it up? What's going on? Does this seem like a party? And a party and nothing else. To be fair, what does how does bikini and fur even have to do with pancakes and grits? This was a little annoying because Tamika has a point. That's maybe that's not what she was trying to tell you directly, but you should definitely especially if you have the re opportunity to actually see, like see your ex in a relationship played out. Because most of us don't have this opportunity. Most of us we just know about a relationship from you know their point of view you don't ever actually see the girl or talk to the girl or the boy or whoever but he was a celebrity these people were famous so you can see some of the red flags in their relationship so she does have a point like especially when y'all have she you saw what she went through and you're clearly going through something very similar she was like no what she went through she went through and i went what i went through but then the same sentence you said like as a woman we just can't you know we all feel this stuff with men we just can't be like dang like and so and so so did she or did she not try to tell you that she was gonna go to the same stuff crystal can you just admit that yeah she was right and i want to be work on um have it have siblings together and and that's it move forward and, and hopefully we can all kiki and get along but apparently this is all fake anyway so you know i don't know how true that is if that t is correct and today she always trying to say well she went through what she went through it had nothing to do with me i don't know if that's true or not but she's trying to put on the blame on neo you have to take some partial responsibility she don't want to take no responsibility the fact that to, not to make up monietta is married to a whole other person has a whole other life it's a little much I also want my friends being all pressed for that because I moved on from that. Like, I 
I have exes who have cheated on me and like were married to the person that cheated on. I know the person that they got all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I may or may not see my friends and stuff like that or people that I know. And I have literally no care or concern. Please don't even mention me around them. Like, don't add, don't be mean to somebody on my behalf because, honey, I do not care. I do not care. I do not, 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 not. I mean, as of right now, I don't care. But they've been, it was, I moved on with my life. Like I have a whole other life. So I don't, I hopefully, I don't think when you care that much. Just the, the need to show that you were, lo- you got to show some resistance to, so that they look like they're loyal to their friend. Uh, Tamika look, seemed like she was a little drunk by the internet. <laughs> Say she was a little drunk. Everybody was a little confused. It was a decent little show. Hey, right, man, I, I'm I'm liking some grown woman is. I like grown woman drama. I, I need some diversity. So hope, hopefully the show gives what it needs to give. I'm excited. You know, have, are you watching this show? You clearly are. If you're watching this video, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I am sorry for delay for all the other videos. Like I said, I had a friend visiting for London, so I had a lot going on, honey. Anyway, give me your thoughts down in the comment section. And if you are feeling generous, 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 you can click the link in the description box. And, you know, give me a little catnip, a little, a little catnip. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your February. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. For real, thank you. It means a lot to me for you guys to just be supporting me for real. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely week. And I'm sending you kisses. Until next time.